What's up YouTube? Welcome to the channel. My name is Farid and the day has finally come. The Melv Akamon Bridge is finally available for testing on the Cardano testnet. If you're new to Cardano, MELD is a DeFi banking protocol that just launched on the blockchain in late January. Since the launch of the MELD app, the MELD team has been working on developing the Akamon bridge. This bridge is going to allow for liquidity to come in from the MATIC or the Polygon network into the Cardano ecosystem. In today's video, I want to show you guys how we can connect our NAMI and MetaMask wallets to the Akamon bridge on the testnet. I also want to talk about how we can move our funds from the Cardano blockchain to the Polygon network and vice versa, moving our assets from the Polygon blockchain back to the Cardano ecosystem. Now, before we jump into the test net, I do want to quickly highlight the recent article that was just released by the Mel team. And so this article here highlights the fact that the Akamon Alpha testnet is now live on the Cardano blockchain. And then in addition to that, it actually has all of the instructions that you need in order to connect your wallets and actually interact with the Akamon bridge. And so a lot of the information that I'm going to be covering today will be on this page. And so if you're interested in reading this on your own time, I will leave a link in the description down below to the article. In order to actually access the MELD testnet, you can navigate to testnet.app.meld.com. And so once you're actually on the testnet, the first thing we're going to have to do is actually connect our wallet. In order to do that, we're going to click on the link button here. And we're going to have two options. Because the bridge will be interacting with the Polygon network, as well as the Cardano network, we're going to have the option to connect our MetaMask wallet as well as our NAMI wallet. First, let's connect our MetaMask wallet. So I'm going to click on the connect button and then I'm going to see here that it's going to prompt me to actually confirm which wallet I want to associate with the testnet. So my wallet is already set. I'm going to go ahead and click on next and then I'm going to connect. And we can now see that our MetaMask wallet has now been successfully connected. I can also see some of the assets that I currently hold within my MetaMask wallet. And so as you guys can see here, I've already been testing the Akamon bridge uh, myself. And so I can actually see some of the assets that I've already bridged over. The next wallet we're going to connect is going to be the NAMI wallet. So I'm going to click on the link button again. And then from here, I can click on the connect button next to the NAMI wallet. I'm going to give the Melt app access to my NAMI wallet. Now, I do have a video that I will leave a link to in the description, and that's basically going to walk you through the process of creating your NAMI wallet. If you don't already have one, it's a pretty straightforward process. But now that we have both wallets connected, the next thing we're going to do is actually navigate to the Akamon bridge. So in order to do that, I'm going to click on this last icon here at the bottom of the DAP. And that's going to take me to Akamon. From here, I'm just going to quickly talk a little bit about the layout and the UI. So I can actually see some of my bridging activity by clicking on this activity history button here. We're going to take a closer look at this here in just a minute. In addition to that, I can select the um, token that I want to bridge from. So for now, let's actually say that I'm going to move some of my assets from the Cardano blockchain to the Polygon network. So I'm going to click on this drop down here and I'm going to be using test ADA. So I'm going to click on this uh, option here to select ADA. And as soon as I do that, you're going to notice that the to field is now automatically updated to the asset that I'll be receiving on the Polygon network. In this case, it's going to be the melded version of ADA, which is referred to as MADA, which again will be deposited to my MetaMask wallet that we just connected to the Akamon bridge. Now, before I continue, I do want to quickly highlight that you will need some test ADA as well as some test Matic in order to perform testing on the Akamon bridge. And so I'm also going to leave a link to the Cardano test faucet, which will allow you to receive test ADA and your NAMI wallet. But if you want to receive some test Matic, you will have to reach out to the Mel team. And so I'm going to leave a link to their discord down below. And then from within their discord, you can actually reach out to the developers, which will actually send you some test Matic to test with. Now I have already done this. And so I'm just going to quickly show you guys my wallet. So if I open my NAMI wallet first, we can see that I have 1600 test ADA. 
And then if I open my MetaMask wallet, we can see here that I currently have about 64 Matic. And so now that we've confirmed that I have enough test ADA and enough test Matic, I'm now gonna move along and actually create my first bridge transfer. And so now that I've already selected my to and from fields, next I'm gonna select how much ADA I actually want to um, convert to M ADA, which again is gonna be the melded token on the Polygon network. So here, let's say that I'm gonna transfer 100 ADA. As soon as I type that in here, you're gonna notice that the amount that I'm gonna be receiving will be the exact amount that I'm sending here. Um, and so the only difference here is that this is gonna be the melded version. I can also now see that the bridge, um, in terms of actually transferring my Cardano asset to the Polygon network, will take about a minute to do. In addition to the estimated time for the bridge transfer, I can see the total fees that are gonna be associated with that. And so out of the 100 ADA that I'm gonna be transferring, I'm gonna to have to pay a total fee of about 3.17 ADA, which is equal to about $1.69. So again, not too bad, um, but it would be interesting to see if the ML team can actually reduce these fees even further. And another thing to keep in mind here is that um, there is the possibility that we could potentially be able to pay some of these bridge fees in the future using other tokens aside from ADA. Now that we've confirmed the estimated time and the transaction fees associated with our bridge transfer, you're now gonna notice that the start transfer button has now been enabled. And so if I click on that here, that's gonna confirm um, my transaction. And I'm now gonna have to actually sign that transaction in order to process that on the blockchain. So if I click on the sign button here, I can then provide my password. And we can now see that a transfer has started. Now, a really cool feature about the Akamon Bridge page here is that um, this will update in real time. And so I'm not gonna have to refresh in order to actually see the status of the bridge transfer update. And so I'm gonna let that sit here for a minute, but while that's actually processing, I wanna talk about some of the other features on this page. And so we can see here, starting from the left-hand side of the screen, that we have the from column. And so we can see all of the assets that we are bridging from. We can also see the blockchain, which we're bridging from listed here. And then if you're interested in seeing the transaction using the block explorer for whichever chain you're transferring from, whether that's the Cardano blockchain or the Polygon blockchain, you can click on this icon here, and that's actually gonna open the Cardano um, Explorer or the Matic Explorer. Next, we can see the to field, which is the um, blockchain that we're gonna be transferring our assets to. And so here I can see the balance that I'm gonna be receiving, which in this example is gonna be 100 melded ADA on the Polygon network. And then once this transfer is actually completed, I'll be able to see the transaction on the Polygon network by using the um, Cardano Explorer link that we see down here listed below. Again, I can see the total time that it's gonna take for this bridge order to process. And then I can also see again the um, associated fees for my transaction. And so as I just actually said that, um, the bridge transaction completed. Now with that said, we can see the statuses of our previous history or previous transfers here. And so right now there are zero orders processing. We have seven bridge orders that have already been completed and I have zero that have failed. And so that's gonna take us through the process of actually creating a bridge transfer from the Cardano blockchain to the Ethereum blockchain. And so now that the transfer is complete, I'm gonna open up my MetaMask wallet in order to actually see my melded assets. And so now I can see that I have a total of about 400 melded ADA within my Ethereum wallet. And that was previously set to 300 M ADA. And so now let's say that I actually wanna do the opposite. Let's say that I wanna move my 400 melded ADA back to the, my Cardano wallet. Let's actually walk through that process. So I'm gonna click on new transfer again. And this time I'm gonna select my melded ADA. And as soon as I select that, the to field is updated again. And now let's say that I wanna send 100 back. And once I type that in, you're gonna notice that the transaction fee this time will actually be listed in Matic. And so because I'm transferring from my MetaMask wallet, I'm gonna be forced to pay with Matic tokens. Once I've confirmed my transaction, I'm gonna click on the start transfer button again. 
And this time I'm going to be prompted to sign my transaction from my Ethereum wallet because that's where my melded ADA is going to be coming from. And so I'm going to review my transaction and then I'm going to click on the confirm button to process the transaction. And again, as soon as I do that, you can see that my transfer has been started and I'm going to give the page here another second here to update, but I should have a new row that pops up here with the transfer from Matic to ADA. And so here it is. I can have, or I can see my hundred melded ADA and I can see the transaction has been submitted to the Polygon network and I should be receiving 100 ADA back in my wallet. And that should hopefully take about one or so minutes. It looks like my transaction from the Polygon network back to the Cardano network has officially been completed. And so here I can see that I've sent back 100 melded ADA from the Polygon network to my NAMI wallet, which is on the Cardano blockchain. And so I should be receiving now 100 ADA in my wallet. So if I open my wallet back up, I can see that my test ADA balance has increased by 100 ADA. And so one last thing I want to walk through with you guys is how we can transfer our Matic tokens from the Ethereum blockchain and actually convert that into melded Matic. So in order to do that, I'm going to click on the transfer button one more time. And here I'm, I'm going to select from Matic or from the Polygon network. And as soon as I do that, you're going to notice that I can now see my two field has been updated to the Cardano blockchain. And it shows me that I'm going to be receiving M Matic, which is again, the melded version of the Matic token. And so now I can provide how much Matic I want to convert into M Matic. So let's say I just want to convert five Matic. And as soon as I do that, I can see again, the estimated time is displayed, but I can also see that I'm going to be charged a three Matic fee. And so now that I'm okay with that, I'm going to click on start transfer. And again, because the funds are coming from the MetaMask wallet, that's going to be where I'm going to be prompted to sign from. So if I scroll down and click on confirm, I can now see that my transfer has been started. I'm going to give this just a minute to update. All right. It looks like our transfer from the Matic network into the M Matic token, which is the melded Matic token on the Cardano blockchain has successfully completed. And so now let me actually double check by opening my NAMI wallet. And if I scroll down all the way into the bottom of my assets, I should be able to see our melded Matic token. So here we can see that I have 15 tokens. And the reason why that is, is because I've already been testing, but I did want to show you guys here that the melded Matic token is now inside of my NAMI wallet. And so I want to walk through one last transaction in which I'm going to be actually moving some of my melded Matic back into the Polygon network. In order to do that, I'm going to click on the new transfer option once again. And then from the Akamon bridge, I'm going to select to move my M Matic token from Cardano. And then as soon as I do that, you can see that it already understands or knows that I'm going to be transferring that back into the Polygon network. Next, I'm going to provide the amount again. And as we talked about before, because the trade is going to be moving from the Cardano blockchain to the Polygon network, I will have to pay my fee using ADA, which is listed here. Once I've confirmed that I can click on the start transfer button. And then now I'm going to click on sign in order to actually process that transaction and then confirm. So there we go. Again, a transaction or a transfer has started and we should see that pop up here in just a minute. Okay, our transaction has completed again. And so we can now confirm that our five melded Matic should now have been converted back into regular Matic on the Polygon network. If I open my MetaMask wallet up, I can see that my balance of Matic has updated. And if I jump back into my NAMI wallet, I should now have a total balance of 10 melded Matic tokens. So if I scroll back down here, we can now see that that is in fact accurate. That's going to wrap it up for today's video on the Melt Akamon Bridge. I am very excited that this has finally been released to the Cardano testnet. I've been playing around with this for quite a bit now, and I'm really looking forward to some of the feedback 
um, that the MELD team plans on implementing. Again, if you're interested in participating in the MELD Akamon testing phase, I highly recommend that you join the MELD Discord. I will leave a link down in the description below if you're interested in joining the Discord. And then in addition to that, don't forget that there is the possibility of rewards in the future when the MELD Akamon bridge goes to the test net, or excuse me, goes to the main net. Now, with that said, if you found some of this information to be helpful, please make sure to tap that like button. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. And if you have any questions or comments, please make sure to leave those down below. I'll see you guys in the next video.